I know y'all see a sign. I know y'all see what's going on. It's Tales from the Crib. Coming live from Austin, Texas. It's your boy, Jesse J. This your boy. Duh. Papa Oblock, aka Chico Grande. Are you ugly in real life? <laughs> in real life? In real life and fake life and in my imaginations, you ugly. No, I'm the picture of your mother's imaginations. She dreams about me. That's a lie. She I bring that thunder. About, she better not be dreaming about no white man. We're, we're, <laughs> I'm a German can. You, you don't even eat sausages. Exactly. Um, um, you're the one that loves sausages. You know, they say that's Germans, but I guess it's everybody else as well. We don't want to tell these people how you were sleeping with my toy in your mouth. Uh, That's a messed up joke, but now I know that you have toys. So no one wants to play with you anymore. You've been in my closet. So speaking of coming out of the closet, we got our friend, our host. <laughs> I was like, oh, perfect. There we go. Lay it up to him now. Like, this is a great way to go. Austin resident, former San Antonian, Mr. Walks on Water. Mr. Walks on Water himself, the true gas station pill popper. <laughs> <laughs> he coming for your hey, title. Soups. I mean, he can have that title. That was a made up title. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that wasn't a real title. I feel like it's, I feel like he's coming for your neck. That's all right. We'll see. We'll see how he does this episode. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring him on full time. <laughs> but back to what we were saying, man. You already know, man. This tells from the crib. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, awesome city. You did real Skyline. good. You did real good on this little presentation, Gavin. I got to give it to you. You know that? Give it two thumbs up. Nah, maybe, but whatever. It's Tell Some Crib, episode 31. It's your mother's favorite podcasters, the number one favorite podcasters in Texas, San Antonio. Number one, San Antonio. Number one in Austin. Number one in your mother's house. Number one in your mother's heart. I like that. So also, you know what you need to do? First, go to our page, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hit the Badinga bell. Badinga. Also, you go. You can follow your boy on Twitter, Felix Supreme three hundred five, and you can also follow this da 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 Papa Oblock. You stole my line. It, it's that's it's not, ridiculous. They need to steal your page. But again. I'm trash. a I'm a at Papa Oblock. Give me some more followers since Katie hated my life away, and <laughs> got my original Twitter banned. And wait, Jesus, are you uh you're banned on Twitter as well for I'm, life? I'm permanently banned from Twitter. You got two. Convicted felons on the podcast, <laughs> and it's not me. We haven't been convicted. We're still on the run. Yeah, <laughs> we just on the list. We got a terrorist attacker. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm blowing out our ears. I was adjusting my headset, mm -mm 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 -mm. and it almost exploded. Well, you know what they do and adjust. They need to adjust themselves to YouTube and find themselves on to our playlist. Tell us from the crib mix, TFTC mix. We get a thousand plays. Everybody we have it. like over 800 plays now so you know get uh, us to a thousand please, please get our please. playlist to a thousand please also follow us on ig tells from the crib 210 there's a little embroider code you know you can scan qr code embroider qr code since he wants to for the, for the slow code. ones out there are you the slow ones out there? no i knew what a qr code was really unlike my co-host i graduated but subscribe to this channel <laughs> Graduating elementary school is not an achievement. The graduation, the graduation. Speaking of graduations, who we got? Go ahead and show them. I guess this girl. Your girl. Your number one in your timeline. The number one in Jesus's likes. <laughs> Megan the Stallion. Look, oh, she's yeah. turning up. Look, it looks like she is she looking at Jesus in the stands? Did you actually <laughs> drive to Houston? I was there. And was go actually, to her graduation. That was me. She was looking at me. She's like, oh my god, my boo is here. Oh my god, my boy is here. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, man. Hey, that's some real hot girl shit, man. Like she was rapping, making money, and then still got her degree. Like that's that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. It's that's a, a lot. lot to do. It is a lot. You should have saw Jesus' face when we was coming up here. He's like, I know Megan Asai is graduating, right? He's she better be on your podcast. And we was like, we'll think about it. And he was like, then y'all can't come. Like, we're we're not that big yet. We're the number one in San Antonio. We're not the number one in Houston. <laughs> There's no San Antonio artist. <laughs> Gavin hates Houston. I hate it. I hope it. I hope it gets flooded oh, the next man. time that there's a big storm. I hope nobody survives. You're gonna get shadow banned, bro. No, I'm, I'm. I'm just kidding. It's jokes. No, nah, but no, nah, for for but congratulations. You know, I love to see people graduate. I love to people see people. You know, 
Better than you know, it's life. just like you. You know, when you were uh, 16 and pregnant, you had to do the homeschooling. I was never yeah. pregnant. We we accept everyone on Tales from the Crib. You got jokes. <laughs> you had to go to alternative I school. I got one girl pregnant, and you will never let her down. Just drop it. Just drop it. How do you feel about this, Seuss? You happy? You finna stream out all week? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. For the rest of the I've, year? I've been on her Instagram just like... Like, mm-mm, double d- double tap, screenshot. Like, scroll the next one. Double you got to you got to hold the the two buttons to screenshot. <laughs> so, let me screen record this add, Instagram this live. Add to favorites. Add to favorites. Is she, she a screensaver? Man, she hey, about hey. to be. She a college grad. What do you have as your screensaver right now? Can we see it? It's uh, it's Dogecoin, bro. Dogecoin. It's a, it's a Dogecoin to the moon. Oh, We're going to the it. moon. It's not. It's an shit's, upcoming this story. It's crashing. I lost so much money on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, lost a, I lost a good, a good yeah. little chunk of cash yeah. on Dogecoin. Man. Cryptocurrency uh, is kicking my ass. Oh, man. Uh, man. He right lost. Now it's kicking everybody's ass. He lost money. That's what cryptocurrency and also. So. Master P lost money. Send it to Sunday HBCU. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, he didn't lose any money. He saved money. But no. then, he, he invested in this for a whole semester. It's horrible. But, but when you save, on you it's like they say, you get what you pay for. Mm-hmm. Masterpiece son, Hersey Miller, is leaving HBCU, Tennessee State University, because of lack of resources. We love the culture. We just don't have enough trainers, enough medical resources. We don't have anything. They don't, they don't probably even have an ice tub. They don't have anything. All they have is parties and frats and alcohol. Yeah, Jesus, didn't you go to HBCU for? <laughs> no, I did not go to HBCU. Oh, oh no, you you were you were just hanging this, around campus. They wouldn't allow UTSA, baby, road running. No, the lie. But as I mean, I understand how we want to make HBCUs bigger and bigger and bigger. But at the same time, it's a lot of. A lot more work that we need. A lot of work needs to be done. You know, but I love We need my- some of that Floyd Money Mayweather money. He needs to donate. He's got too much money. He needs help out more. For real. He does. Um, But uh, what else is going on in oh, the world? Oh, fuck this topic. <laughs> Moving on. We're disappearing on that topic. <laughs> we even, no, we're sorry. We want more people to go to HBCUs, but... It's not going to happen. Better. It's going happen. You can't say that. I'm just kidding. I just like to oppose whatever you say. Whatever. Show us the next slide. You oppose on this woman, she might pull a gack out on you. She's going to pull her gack out on you? Exactly. With that gra ta ta ta. Exactly. A woman allegedly pulls gun out on DJ Academics during podcast show taping. And this was the Fresh and Fit podcast. What well, what is this picture they use for academics? Why why did they use like his Tinder profile picture from like twelve years ago? <laughs> he's baby he's like, picture. hey, what picture should we put out for this? <laughs> pick his Tinder profile pic. That one's perfect. He looks <laughs> innocent. <laughs> Look at this. But uh, I mean, this goes to show you, you talk to the wrong girl crazy, she might shoot you. I mean, we saw the some of the show today, and DJ Academics be talking crazy to some of these girls. Like, I mean, yeah, you gotta watch it. You can't like, you can't talk too crazy to their face. I like, mean, yeah, a lot of these girls lot. are models, are strippers. Hey. So well, hey, you, you can't like, judge they, anybody how they get their no, money. No, 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 I'm not. I'm just saying like they're all models. You know, the you, know yeah. you got to put the quotation. They're models. My co-host was uh, one of those models. <laughs> Listen here, I was never one of those models. I applied one time. I didn't like the uniform. No, he, I don't like my nipples out. I can't wear the outfit. He went from, he was a hard bodies dropout. So now and then he selling, went to Chippendales. No, nah, he's selling feet pics on OnlyFans right now. Dang. Subscribe to my page, five ninety nine. I got three spots left open for free subscribers. Felix Fatty Cat Supreme. <laughs> all his pics are, all his pics are, are, are pictures of his ashy feet. Every single Listen, one. Girls like ashy feet. It gives, it gives no, they don't. Feet. Like he has potential. He has one dipped in honey. He just That's likes nasty. to do the LeBron chalk toss a little too much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gets it we off his legs. We didn't do a live podcast for y'all to crack on me. It yes, doesn't we go did. like that. Yeah, we, did. we definitely did. I came to this podcast to crack on you. <laughs> Whatever. See, I can't wait. Watch when we get home to San Antonio. It's me and you. No homo. In tub, <laughs> full of honey. <laughs> we're, 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 <laughs> we're filming that more OnlyFans stuff at <laughs> home. Like, me and you going to the smush room. <laughs> It's like, uh, what is that, Jersey Shore all over again. The smush room. <laughs> smush room. That's nasty. You ain't no smush 
You got to watch out for the smush room. He might pill Cosby you. I need to watch out for you. Moving on next time. Well, well, let, let me get out of the way so you can show it. Please, please. Speaking please. of clowns. She's not a clown. NBA young boy. NBA young girl. Whatever. Is getting into wearing makeup because it makes him feel like a rock star. And I love it. I accept it. I like his creativity. I love his music. Gavin's a hater. No, I think he's just getting a bullseye for his ops. Headshot. I mean, I understand wearing like some makeup. There's been makeup being worn in rock stars sort of stuff. And I mean, Kiss wore a full face of makeup, but yeah. I don't know what the hell NBA young boy doing right here. He doesn't, it don't look like he knows what he's doing. I think he, he looks out of it. I think he's pictures. scared. Scared of what? His ops. They're coming. So he's just. Who does he have ops from? Isn't he like 18? No, he has a lot of ops. From all his baby mamas? So he's from, <laughs> from, from baby Chicago. <laughs> From Chicago. His nine baby mamas. Yeah. Nine baby mamas are his ops. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they started, they kind of started it. See, Gavin, one of his baby mamas was hanging out on O Block. Gavin doesn't like NBA Young Boy because he uh, he dissed Young Dirt in them. I mean, you know how Gavin is. Like, He's true I just his... don't like his music. I don't. How you don't yeah. like his music? It's not good. No one y'all likes it. You gotta make it seem like NBA Young Boy is the NBA, best. No. Oh my God. No. Listen, oh. you listen to Joe, J Cole, so your your vote doesn't count. Like if that's trash. Like if he's just a terrible rapper. Yes. Like, you listen to J Cole and Kendrick, so you have <laughs> no opinion on music. <laughs> <laughs> You're Kendrick not invited to the cookout. A Pulitzer, like he won an award. So, what does I, that mean? That he's very good. That means nothing. Kendrick's been living off one album for his whole career. <laughs> yes. It was Good Kid, Mad City, and then it was like five albums of garbage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that jazz album? The, I don't uh, even know. To Pimp a Butterfly? I didn't like that one either. Exactly. That was, that was just, almost that was, as bad as the Little Wayne project. album where he played guitar. Yeah, that Little Wayne album where he played guitar was weird. It's like, how did he have like the best album in the world, Carter Three, and then followed up with the worst rock album ever? I don't know. I don't know what Lil Wayne was trying to do to, at that point. He was on too many things. He was sipping on too much. He, he was, said, "Don't worry about what's in this cup." He was double cupping too much because it's right? in his cup. Exactly. But who's a better entertainer, them or this substitute teacher here uh, singing uh, uh, uh. your favorite song, Britney Spears? It sounds like Jesus from karaoke. Actually, audio of me. I believe it. <laughs> Sounds like Jesus when he he's on the toilet. Yeah. When he's... <laughs> In this costume is job. He's really doing the whole song. <laughs> I thought this was like a 30 second clip. Okay. Yeah, I fired him too. How you know the whole song? <laughs> That's why he got fired. It's a good song. But why did he get fired for it? Though? Like, he knows like, the entire song. I don't even think he was cursing. He didn't say nothing sexual. That's wrong. That's wrong. Britney Spears saw on the scene. I mean, these kids are bored in class, bro. There's a whole pandemic going on, and now these kids are at school. And he just wants to lighten the damn mood, man. Everyone, There's a lot of stuff going on. All these parents sentence their children to death. By, what? By <laughs> sending them back to school yeah. to get COVID. And active shooters. You know how many active shooters? As soon as school started, boom, active shooters all over again. So many active shooters. You got active shooters. You got COVID. It's because everyone shooter. played Call of Duty during COVID. They were training <laughs> for when they got back to school. They were training. <laughs> what? But yeah, I, don't, I really don't think he should have got fired for he, this. Like, I mean, substitute not... teacher. He didn't, probably didn't care anyway. Fucking no. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's not even a real teacher. Like, he's a substitute teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be able to get away with anything when the substitute came. That's true. She, hey, they, they just say, I'm going to write your name on a piece of paper, give it to your teacher. Yeah, hey, are, you, are, are you surprised how easy it is to become a substitute teacher? I did not. How easy You, you got to do like a weekend course. That's it. That's it. You don't have to do anything. Really? It's not a lot. It's you like don't, do you have to have a degree or anything? No. 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 It's like anybody could come in, like, oh, I did this course. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're, you're a paid babysitter. That's <laughs> Literally. Literally. Man, so now it makes sense why they just gave us like bullshit work. 
Yeah. Oh, that because they can't yeah, teach they anything. They don't know nothing. They don't know. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you're gonna you're gonna watch this video, like, or you're gonna hour. read this chapter with your. I had no clue. People at your desk. Like, I get paid twelve an hour. What do you expect me to that do? It's so easy. Well, yeah, this guy had nothing to do that day. <laughs> the teacher didn't leave him nothing. He's like, well, shit, I'm just gonna sing some toxic while the kids are taking a nap because that's why all the lights are off. Even though they're in high fired. school. Mm-mm-mm. Or you know what? Maybe they were doing a drill. They were doing the active shooter drill. And they're like, "Hey, turn off the lights." And he's like, "If I play toxic, the shooter's he not ain't gonna, gonna come, come this way. Here. He's not gonna come in here because he's gonna know there's some real Britney fans, and we got a free Britney. So we just like, freed Britney. What do you think we're gonna do to you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the active shooter's like, oh, "I'm not gonna go in there. Not today. Not today." <laughs> hey, hey. But speaking of not today, but maybe tomorrow. It looks like the idea of a four-day work week is gaining popularity around the world. Some lawmakers in Washington, D.C. are pushing for the U.S. to follow suit. The United Arab Emirates started last week Hell with yeah. a four-day work week. That sounds amazing. I love it. I would love a four-day work week. You yeah. know what I do with those extra three days? Uh, right. You can't say that. Find another job. <laughs> 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 this is almost as bad as the David G episode. Trapping for Jesus. <laughs> no, it's like, have you ever? Uh, what, what was that one movie? Um, oh, I forget where they were trapping the animal. Where they were also uh, fans of that one singer, the Zulu, the Lion Killer. No, not the Lion. Zootopia. No, Zoolander. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Let's go with Kung Fu Panda. What? Django. <laughs> Nobody no, about but Django. <laughs> if we if we had a four day work week, that would be the best thing in the world. Man, it needs to change. The last the reason we even have a five day work week now is because of General Ford back in the fifties. How much stuff has changed in the fifties? We wouldn't even be doing what well, we're the, doing right now. The, the only the only reason that waiters work off tips is because of the Great Depression. Yeah. And even though that ended, we never went back. Gavin, yeah, yeah. you found out information out like last week. You haven't let it go. It's That's the only smart information Gavin has. Real information. All of this is true. What J- Gavin said, what I said, it's both true. Gavin found us out since November. He's been saying this. He's good, the people good. make himself sound he, smart. Because people we, people we, talk about waiters and waitresses, and they tend to like that fact. Yeah, we need to make we need to make sure they all have livable wages. I do not disagree with that. Oh, yeah. my God. I, need nowhere in the world, every, everybody in the world, they don't tip. And then we get mad when they come here and they don't oh, tip the waiters. Oh, I forgot you were a waiter. Exactly. Jesus, he home. Jesus was the best waitress I ever had. He's a waiter. Five years. He worked at Tilted Kilt and he wore the <laughs> kilt. Is. I was the first one. I had to fight about it. They're like, how dare you? He said equality. Discriminate. Equality starts here. I don't, I'm don't. i not shaving my legs. I'm not don't, shaving don't, my that's, legs. I'm talking to HR now. <laughs> but no, yeah. Four-day work week, definitely technology has advanced to the point that we are able to. They need to raise the wages along with it, so that way it all averages out. But yeah, four day work week makes sense. It doesn't make sense for us to work forty hours or whatever, whatever we work. No more four hundred hours a week. Yeah, man, five days is done. Let's do four. We need three days because we need one day to, to do, start to, our week to do what to, to actually do errands. Like you got uh-huh. one day to like do laundry, to get groceries. One day for fun. One day for fun. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And, and then one, one day, day to prepare for the week. Yep. That's, That's how it, it should be. It just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, Gavin, what are you going to do mm-hmm. with your seven days off? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna be like Wiz Khalifa. I'm going to re- release a, 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 re- a reggae album. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so coming soon, Tales from the Crib reggae album. <laughs> you don't even speak that. Gavin the Lion. I'm, I'm going to get features Gavin from Lyon. Snoop Lion. And from Damien Marley. And Dylan. And Dylan. Five Dylan. times. Dylan, 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 Dylan. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> are you gonna so are you gonna get our next topic on your on your album? Um I Your mean, favorite person in the whole world? I might I might have to sing about it. Let's see what it is. Your girl, it looks like Black China's in the news. Twitter reacts to Black China allegedly holding a white lady hostage oh my in her drug party. A white woman? A like, white out woman. of all the people she could have held hostage? Who else does cocaine? I mean, I understand that, but you know how the U.S. gets about white men? You know how many Amber Alerts you get about white women going missing? <laughs> but... All of them. I'm not Batman. What am I going to do? I'm not Batman. Like, I turn them hoes off. I imagine I... what that phone call would be like. 
What? Excuse yes, me? Yes, Black China is coked up. <laughs> She's she has hostage. a random white woman <laughs> held down in her room. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the manager just on the phone. Like, Damn it. Again? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to need the SWAT. This. We've talked to her many <laughs> times and I do this. Hey, she went from beating Rob Kardashian to beating a white woman. I think, honestly, at this point, Black China's a problem. <laughs> she's a problem. <laughs> I think she's the problem in this. Yes. She can't find love. She had that show where she couldn't find love. Mm-hmm. She had the date of Kardashian didn't work out neither. Honestly, she, I think she might be the problem. She should have been is. on Real Chance of Love. <laughs> that would have solved her problem. That would have been amazing. <laughs> I would have watched that episode five times. So, so is this still happening? Like, is it still active where this white woman is still held hostage? <laughs> or she's only happy she's for literally a still hostage. She's still right now. And we're talking about it. We need to hashtag free her. Hashtag free white woman. Free the white lady. Free the white lady. But uh, sir, you got to take us to space for our next subject. Oh, this is Gavin's topic right here. It looks like China rover spots a mysterious cube-shaped hut on the dark side of the moon. That's the closest image they can get. The Samsung Galaxy can get a photo of the moon. Well, the Land Rover was actually powered by Android. Man, so, I, don't, I don't believe that. It's man. not that, a surprise. Not how, is, how is that the best picture? They're like, hey, we saw, that could have been a An- rock. They're Android, like, really Android has terrible. upgraded to Shoebox 10 phone quality. <laughs> I, the galaxy could literally get a picture of the moon with a better quality than what the hell that land room. I don't know what they're spending but, their money on, but it is not the okay, right thing. It was apparently it was far away, but they're going to send the rover closer to get better pictures. Okay. But Hopefully we see how it goes. We all know the moon isn't real. It's cheese. Yep, it's cheese. <laughs> Cheese, actually, and, actually, cheese and crackers, Gromit. It's actually exactly why you guys are banned off Twitter. It's actually hollow, and it is used to harvest souls. Duh. It's oh, obviously. Hey, well, speaking of snow soul snatching, uh, have you seen the latest uh, Mortal Kombat? Oh, I think talking about the next topic. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Did I'm, you see when Jax got his arms ripped off? Yeah, that was pretty intense. He fell asleep, so he didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, no, I don't remember this part yeah. at all. I was, I was pretty mad where they had the, they did the fight with Goro. It wasn't even like a badass spot. It was some shitty farm. They fought Goro well, again. And, yeah, and I didn't understand. Like I, I was confused the whole time. Who was that guy? That was like a Scorpion's descendant. Like. Oh at yeah! First, I was like, "Are they trying to make him Johnny Cage?" And then I, at the end of the movie, they're like, "Gonna go find Johnny Cage." I thought he was Luke Kang for a while. I was like, "Is this Luke Kang?" And then Luke Kang came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And then I remember that part. Yeah, it's very. Confusing. And then his special the powers guys. that he got like silver bands on his body. Yeah, like, I don't, overall, I didn't like the fact that they used that guy, but the movie was dope. It like, was I, I, I like the, action. That they did the finish him, and they did all the fatality, flawless <laughs> victory. Like, <laughs> look, all that stuff, man. Like the way they I kept it like, straight like, to what, the what is, what's coming from? straight to the combat. <laughs> right, it's, it's like, like it's Mortal Kombat, Kombat here right now. Like, is Mortal that who I'm listening to? <laughs> but speaking of fatality, Ooh, it yeah. looks like airplane company is allowing people to have. S-E-X, in the plane for $1,000. Oh, yeah. Time for Jesse to fly people out. Join my high club. Who next? It's that, really that, just a private jet. That that's the new, that's the new way to cheat. You just fly around for an hour and then yeah. <laughs> come back. Yeah, you're literally playing a thousand bucks an hour. It's to like go. it's technically in to the air. It doesn't count. Yeah, I mean, you're in the air. It's a mile high. Like You're going to be part. And you get a certificate, too. True. Oh, wow. You yeah, have you- food? You get you get an Instagram uh, pic. You get champagne. You get, oh, hell yeah. You get champagne up there. It's it. I, oh it's in my Vegas. God. For the people who are listening who are curious, like, oh my god, I want to do this. I have money to blow. I never use that stimmy money. I never use that stimmy money. <laughs> Go to Vegas. That's where they. That's where you find it. That's where you can do it at. And it's nine hundred to a thousand dollars for one hour. So I don't know what y'all are gonna do for the other. 47 minutes you got like, like you're gonna you, be you looking who, out the window the other 47 minutes because you know who likes to spend money on fr- uh frivolous things who my co-host who's your co-host because you're my co-host i'm not you know who your co-host is I don't know what you're talking about. but it's the reason why we were uh, late to austin is that he was tired <laughs> after he got a facial and that he had his had to take a nap before we could head to austin listen here self-care is the best care i agree that self-care is the best care but what they did to your face was not self care. You don't even wear lotion. You have no place to talk. He's white. He's still ashy. <laughs> he's he's a white. They he's a white. They don't know about that. <laughs> they don't. They don't. So they don't, so they don't know about that. They don't even wash their legs. 
legs. <laughs> I don't wash my legs. <laughs> they get, Do you they, wash your feet? They get washed for me. They what think you... they think swimming in the pool in the lake is good enough for shower for them. No, no, no. Chlorine, <laughs> chlorine does not clean you. Oh, man. It kills off but all you the know, bacteria. But you know what does help you? What? what? Horse tranquilizer. <laughs> Ketamine. <What>? Ketamine? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they were saying during the uh, thing that we shall not name that almost took out half our population. The Black Plague? The Spanish flu? The Kardashians? <laughs> <laughs> Ski Master Slump God. Oh, Lord. It I mean, looks like they spelled Ski Master Slump God's name wrong backstage. I can't see it as far. What does it say? It's, it's also right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Slump Mass the Ski God. <laughs> I think it sounds even better. That sounds even fire. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I would definitely listen to Slump Mass the Ski God's music. Yeah, it sounds better than Ski Master Slump. Like, who wants to listen to the slump? No, I'd rather listen to the other one. United got it right. United got it right. They understood. The Do you United. even listen to him, Jesus? I have no clue. This is. I, <laughs> I've never seen this man before in my life. I've never heard a song in my life. Drake stole the whole uh, side do rag thing from him. <laughs> the side do rag thing is amazing. I should have worn my do rag. Yeah, this guy. This guy to you hate left him. of me. Always Stop thinks hating. he's a ski mask. But I mean, I mean, you really shouldn't hate like this. Like nobody knows your music. So if nobody knows your music, we shouldn't have to know your name. Nobody at United knows his music. That's <laughs> that's for sure. If, if he flew Spirit, they would have probably known who he was. Yeah. <laughs> nobody at United knows who the hell he is. Ski mask, the squid billy. <laughs> that's messed up. I hope he finds you, Jesus. Uh, find me. He's I'm suing kidding. you for defamation. <laughs> for defamation and libel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make another Twitter just to talk. You need to get back on Twitter. Him. This is hard. I miss it. I do miss it. After my account got banned, making a new one and like actually trying to start from scratch, it's been terrible. I have it's to, been the worst experience of my life. I have life. to literally get a whole other phone. Like I, mm -hmm. yeah. I have to trade in this this phone. Oh, you still get on another that phone? phone yeah. You're a terrorist. And that, that, then make another email, fake email, to be able to get on again. Like it's a whole process to get. After you get banned permanently, it's a whole process to get another one. It is. Better watch yourself there. Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> what you showing? Show us. Oh, 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 what? Whoa. Bring us back. It looks like in 2000. So why do we have this topic? In 07. I guess everyone found out about it now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we'll read it for this boss man. A Bosnian man. <laughs> I didn't know what that word was. Faked his boss man. <laughs> I, I thought faked his happened. death and arranged his own funeral to find out who is loyal, how loyal his friends were. And what would they would say about him? He did. He hid in the bushes to count the attendees. Only his mother came. Man, this sounds like what King King Jong Un then copied him then, because King Jong Un did, did that. Did death. that last year. Mm -hmm. Faked his death to see like, all right, who's really gonna come here for me? And then his sister took over. He murdered everybody. He had. He was a dictator, guys. It's not. It's not a good guy. <laughs> is that when? Is that's when they found out he had an evil sister? Yes. Yes. That's when they found out he had an evil, like mean looking sister. And uh, so he did the same thing. So this is not this is not crazy to hear about because it has happened before on a bigger scale. And uh, apparently the Bosnian man was a, a terrible person because only his mother came. Or as my co-host like to say, the boss man. The boss man. <laughs> or no, <laughs> Bosnian, otherwise known as the boss man. I don't know, but all I know is if Gavin dies, I'm selling all his shoes. And taking hell, his dog. Hell yeah. Who said that man. you're in the will, Selling sucker? All those shoes. What? I you, am in the bitch, I am the will. <laughs> no. Nah, you ain't in the will. Listen, we have over thirty one episodes of us together. It's going to <laughs> it's going to David. <laughs> Forget both of y'all. No, I'm kidding. David has a whole family. Oh, oh man. No, David you, no, you no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We got another David was supposed to call me back because David was supposed to be on last week's episode, but he <laughs> never showed up, so we said screw you, David. And David hasn't even called me back or texted me back, so I'll tell you, screw you again, David F and G. And screw you until you come back on this. Until you are on this show, it's screw you. It's David two. He's David two. Yeah, I, David number I, two. I also have a David. He's David one. Yeah, you got demoted to David three, and there's not even <laughs> and there's not even a David two, and you're still David three. That's best. But that's what happens. Mm mm. -mm. And this is what happens when you die also. It looks like they don't even waste time. Louis Vuitton is about to give that, his job to Kanye West. Louis Vuitton is about to give his job? No, Virgil passed away. And Kanye is about to take over. Oh, didn't, Kanye, didn't Kanye already do this before? 
Take over somebody's job? No. Yeah, look at you skipping you're giving you're giving topics away. <laughs> Taking over people's job? Uh yeah, Kanye is always stealing stuff. What he's did still... he steal? What what has Kanye? Oh no, I'm stolen? sorry, that was Pete Davidson. He took his woman. <laughs> And then apparently the other night, P. Davidson also took off a of Miley Cyrus. They were just hosting a show, bro. And then he He's went. Hosting her. He went. Yeah, he hosted her to his. She walked his mic. His getaway, <laughs> and uh, she stayed there all night. Sources say. Hmm. What oh. were they working on then, Jesus? Since you know it, yeah. I'm, tell man, us. That's, that's as far as I know. I don't even know. I think they're on SNL. <laughs> <laughs> they're, all, they're just friends. They're just friends. They're just hanging out, being friendly. They just like to be happy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, didn't Virgil just die like a Who's week ago? Still? Like, yeah, so insensitive. It's not even in the ground yet. He passed away, <laughs> Jesus. He passed away. He passed away. Didn't he just pass away like two not, weeks ago? Not everyone can come back from life in, in seven days like you. <laughs> it's three. Oh, is that Christmas? No, wait, that's that's Hanukkah. It's Easter, bro. <laughs> is that Kwanzaa? <laughs> is that involved with dreidel? <laughs> oh, Lord. Three days. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. But speaking of someone who needs a dreidel. Who needs help in Jesus? Travis Scott. You guys' favorite topic. He's taken more losses, just like the city of Houston. They cheated in baseball. They cheated the lives of these people with his concert, oh, and now they're man. getting their get back because Travis Scott had his drink uh, revoked, and he also got his Coachella contract revoked. And so next thing they're going to revoke is those dumbass tattoos on the side of his head. <laughs> we love to see it. We love to see all the Travis Scott slander. We love to see him losing all this uh, money and endorsements. He's also two billion dollars in the hole right now. Those oh, law, yeah. those lawsuits are still coming in, man. Like, and they have not been dismissed yet. Not a one. Not he's a gonna one. make it, man. He's not gonna. No, he's not. He literally they finna get all these charges gonna get dropped. He's he not just came on. I vice. tell you what, if those charges get dropped, you're getting dropped next. <laughs> what? So he, he's standing up no, for the charges. He just came on Vice and said, "Oh, I didn't even know all this was going on. I didn't know people were dying at, at my concert." I don't even I don't feel responsible for this because it's not my fault. How would I know that this is happening? But there are multiple TikToks, multiple videos of people at the show showing that he <laughs> saw the ambulances. He saw people he passing out. He saw people getting carried out. And he kept going with the show. He he they said, Oh, he ended the show. I'm like, Yeah, 40 minutes after people are dying. Like people are still dying and he's still doing the show. He was basically the leader demon. Of what? Of the human sacrifice. These are facts. These are facts, man. He is a part of the, uh, what do they call it? The Illuminati. The secret society. <laughs> of the Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> what is, what am I doing? <laughs> you throwing up the rock? We about to disappear, bro. Like, yeah. We're right. It's going to be the last time you see us. Like, you can't see me. I'm John <laughs> And then we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> we gone here. just like your friends on Instagram. That's what they've been doing. Um, you man. never see nobody's stuff on Instagram no more. Oh uh, man, it looks like after nearly six years, Instagram will bring back chronological feeds in 2022. Are you guys happy, excited? I know excited. I am. Yeah, bro. Like I get on Instagram, I don't see nobody's stuff I know. I have to look on their page like, oh, I didn't even know they posted this. Like, I'd be uh, looking at stuff like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, it's a new post from two months ago? <laughs> yeah. It was like, no wonder my friends hate me because they think I never liked their stuff. Yeah, they think I'm just <laughs> like, oh, I started anything. a new business and his suit's not liking none of my stuff. No, no, like, so bro, I, didn't I, I didn't even know about it. I didn't even see it. It's <laughs> supposed to search our name and look up our stuff In, every day. Instagram literally shows me a bunch of ads for like those t shirts. Have y'all seen those ads for the t shirts? When they, they spy on you and give you the ads? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. See, uh, see. Or those one that have y'all seen those one wheel skateboard things? That's what oh, I've yeah. been getting. Oh, yeah. I, I get oh, a lot God. of those. It's, yeah. Speaking of that, that us, David F and G told me that <laughs> he wanted to buy one of those. <laughs> what? Why? He needs a helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those, those things go really fast. Like he needs to get a helmet. Like with his track record of how he gets hurt, he ne hey, he needs a hey, helmet, man. Hey, you're the one that fell running up the stairs like Joe Biden. Hey, <laughs> Trump fell too. What do you mean, just Trump Joe never Biden? Falls. No, Trump never <laughs> fell. We Trump, they erased that I from did. our memories. I just fall though. <laughs> <laughs> sure. like, you can see it. You can see like something's there. Like it hurts, man. Like. And, I hit that rail hard. <laughs> but speaking of getting hit and hard, uh, you know who else got hit hard in the heart? Mexico. 
all Mexicans oh, everywhere, man. man. I'm German, and I even feel this. Man, singer Vicente Fernandez has passed away at the age of 81. He had been in the hospital already for the past four months and some complications he had at his farm. He had fallen, and, man, he just had a whole lot of other stuff going on. He was old, bro. Like, he, he was struggling. Like, somebody asked me, have you ever seen him young? I'm like, man, I'm 30. I've only seen this man old. Like, yeah. the only way I know he was young is when he still had his full black hair, full <laughs> black mustache. But he's one of those Mexicans that just, like, looked old for, like, yep. a long time. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, man, that's the youngest I've ever seen him. I, I thought um, before the podcast started that we were going to be told that uh, you were actually going to serenade us <laughs> with, one of, his, with <laughs> one of his songs. So that, you know, if it's karaoke style, we won't get copyrighted. So do you want to uh, <laughs> you want to sing a couple bars? bars? See, couple bars? See, I, I could look something up. I know exactly, but... Basically, uh-huh. if for people who don't know who this is, drop the knowledge. This is basically the Michael Jackson of the Mexican world. That that's how big of a loss this is. Like right now, if you go on any of the uh, Univision, any of the Mexican uh, news channels, this is all that's gonna be playing. They're gonna be oh, playing yeah. some memorials. If you go, this, they're gonna be playing gonna be shows. Crazy. So yeah, this is all they're gonna be doing, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yo sé bien que estoy afuera, pero el día que yo me muera, sé que tendrá de llorar. Llorar y llorar. <laughs> Con dinero y sin dinero. Yo hago siempre lo que quiero. Y mi palabra es la ley. <laughs> but yeah, we can't play it, but that's a little bit of El Bravo, Bravo. El Rey by Vicente Fernandez, man. This is a very big loss. Um, the parties when you're drinking that tequila at four in the morning and crying about the girl who did you wrong is just going to go so much harder now that he's gone. Yeah. But he's, he's Let released 50 years of music, man. Like this, this man has been out and about for a long time. I know all your abuelas in San Antonio, your, your tias, they're going to be devastated. Devastated. So, so if you're out in the streets and you see the tamale lady. Buy yeah. two dozen tamales. <laughs> Who doesn't? Give her, Who doesn't? Give her a $20 tip. Give her a $20 tip because we are going through it right now, man. This this is a big loss. This is a Kobe-level loss. This is a Michael Jackson-level loss. This is this is big, man. There's nothing nothing like anything else that the Mexican world has faced for a while. But from losing musical titans, musical legends, to New Music Monday, we're going to bring it to you fresh. Extra fresh that is. And I need y'all to always go to our YouTube page, TFC. TFTC Music Mix. And it's under our Tales from the Crib playlist section. Another shocking compilation from Tales from the Crib. Get us to a thousand views on our playlist. We right so we can get Yeah, I mean, this is an old picture. So I think we already got over 800. Uh, get us to a thousand and we will celebrate. Um, Go ahead. Moving on to the next side. Look at the new music that has dropping. We got some Rick Ross, of course. We got some Hot Boy. We got some Juice World. We got NBA Young Boy. We got Splurge. Who else we got? Uh, Nardo Wick. Was that last week? Yeah, that was last week. Uh, And a couple other ones. I don't recognize those bottom ones. But um, are you? Oh, you have the old album cover on there. They were. um, You could go ahead. Um. They uh, what? They uh, supposedly bullied Rick Ross from having his Saucy Santana album cover to changing it. Did you see that one? No, I don't know what y'all talking about. So Rick Ross on uh, you could see this one. Yeah, that's the Rick Ross uh, the album cover. cover. Hands and, up, and <laughs> looking like said, Saucy Santana. Everyone called him Saucy Santana, <laughs> and he got his feelings hurt so bad that he changed it just to like something else, like a cartoon or something. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't saucy enough. I guess, bro. Like, I don't know, man. The internet. Oh, that's is, a, a boogie, boogie. The internet oh, yeah. hey, is undefeated. They they bullied a whole moving plate, not a movie, a movie studio mm-hmm. to change the way Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I saw worked. that. Yeah. So I believe but that they, they were bullied, right on that one. They did. They were completely right on that one. And I mean, Rick Ross, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling the white gloves, bro. I'm not. I'm not sure what you're doing. Um, it just does. This is not an unboxing. This is not an opening. 
but we got my pick coming in because this is actually dropping on December 17th. You haven't seen a rapper. Chief Keef, Chief Keef Sosa, Big Gucci Sosa is dropping for them on December 17th. Oh, a new album and an NFT for you digital folks. I thought he was dead. What? You, you better watch your mouth. <laughs> Kevin will pay about you. you keep. <laughs> you'll get thrown off this balcony. <laughs> like vanilla ice. And we'll just dip right back to San Antonio like it never happened. <laughs> I had no, what, what, what was that intro to the Chief Key song? No more talking sweet about Chief Key. <laughs> you know you got caught with a ratchet. <laughs> I hadn't heard anything about him for a while, so that I, I don't hang out with y'all at all. He was so trending on music like, the other day. So yeah. I don't hang out with y'all. Like you're the only ones I know who listen to Chief. We're his cool friends. Because you listen to Bryson Tiller doesn't mean you're above us musically. <laughs> that's, that's not what I'm saying. I say I don't have many friends, and y'all are the only few that listen to Chief Keef. Yeah, every day. That old block. Bar, bar. Bar, bar. <laughs> well, it looks like here we're coming down to the end. This has been a great episode. We in Austin. Follow me at Papa O Blog. We ain't even there yet. I'm with these two Dutch. Follow this guy at Felix Supreme. Don't like, subscribe, <laughs> hit the bing bong bell. I just cut. Uh, but I've enjoyed my time in Austin. I've enjoyed this episode, and uh, it's been great. It's been a a getaway from the hustle and bustle that is San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> and how you feel about this episode of Tell Some Crib episode number thirty one? Yeah, you got anything to sign off? Three one. No. Ooh. Nothing, man. Uh this, this is fun. Definitely uh badass scene. How y'all stepped up y'all's game last time since I've been on. Uh we not as lit as the last time, but we also <laughs> I, I think we almost passed out last time. <laughs> we almost died. I, I think... don't remember, I don't remember the last story I told last time. I went time, to sleep so... on y'all, I had like a whole thirty minute conversation. Yeah, after. there was a whole oh, yeah. there was a whole story I told that I do not recall. I had to but... put this guy to bed. It was it was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's definitely badass to see how y'all stepped up y'all's game thank and you, got thank more you. organized and whatnot. You know, so, uh, next we have look, midget strippers. Looking forward to the future. Looking forward to see what y'all. Tales do. from the crib is going to bring it to you raw. We're from Austin this weekend. Oh, we never, we never did our couch announcements. Really, I mean, we're on a, couch. we're on a couch. So couch let, let's wrap it up with our couch announcements. So, so couch announcements. Finally, 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 reaction videos coming. Crib reactions. It'll be January first. January first. Crib reactions. <laughs> we coming hard. We coming long. We bring in the <laughs> coming blue hard and long. Exactly. That's how they like it. Um, but definitely go watch our last video. We had three videos in a row get over five hundred views and then YouTube said y'all talking too reckless and you suppressed our last video and it's only got like between fifty and a hundred views. So support the last video, send it to your friend, send it to your mother. We're tired of getting shadow banned. <laughs> um, but um it looks like we are at the forty two minute mark of this recording. It's actually a a pretty good time. I, I was uh, surprised that we didn't go to like an hour or an hour and a half. But I think when you're more intoxicated that you uh, <laughs> you, lose, you lose track of time easier. Well, we and uh, this guy that. maybe maybe, maybe. went over <laughs> his threshold. He's going to have to boot and rally again. <laughs> so oh, um, do but do we have any uh, closing comments from my co-host? No. I mean, you know, I love it. We need to do this more often. We're going to get more guests. Trust me. It's getting bigger and better. It's over here at Tales from the Crib 2 a.k.a. Gangsta's Paradise. Okay. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's what we're doing. But we're going to go ahead and vanish off screen. Oh, no, no. It's the end of the show. So we're going to wrap things up. And it's been a great day, a great adventure. And like my elementary school used to tell me, you make it a great day or not, <laughs> the choice is yours. Yes, you I graduated third grade. <laughs>